Tommy. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. That wraps up this part of our show. We'll now take a break and be back in just a moment with another contestant. I got to head to the bunghole. Welcome back to the brew house stage at Mountain Lakes Brewing Company in downtown Spokane, Washington. This is Week Week, Don't Tell Me, the MLB Beer Quiz Show with your host, Chris Sendrick. Thank you, Dave. And now the game where you have to listen for the rhyme. It's called Beer Limericks. A reminder, if you would like to be a future contestant on Wheat Wheat Don't Tell Me, just stop by Mountain Lakes Brewing prior to each show, and we will make you a black and tan based upon whether you want to be on bottom or on top. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Tell us your name and a little about yourself. Uh, well, I'm James, and I'm from Seattle. I've been in Spokane for four years now. So you've been in Spokane for four years, and so what brought you to Spokane from Seattle? <laughs> I stalked my family over here, so you know. You have family over here, and you thought, hey, uh, I'm just going to add to the Spokane traffic. And, uh, yeah, i got to bring all the McConaughey's over. There you go. And so what, you have an occupation. What do you do here? I'm a tap room manager at Badass Backyard Brewery. Tap room manager. For those of you who don't know, a shout-out to Badass Brewing, which is a female-run brewery right here in and owned to owned operated and brewed only in washington exactly it is a badass and we asked charlene to come tonight and she is so badass she's like i'm sorry i can't come because i'm like surfing on the oregon coast <laughs> so that's what she's doing that sounds terribly cold but it's fine it's fine We've invited you here tonight to, to play a game that we call Beer Limericks. Here's what we're going to do at this point in the show. Dave is going to read three beer-related limericks with the last word or phrase missing from each. If you can fill in that last word or phrase correctly in two of the limericks, you will be a winner. Free beer and a pint glass. Are you ready to play? I'm ready. Your limericks tonight deal with local Spokane breweries probably gonna be a challenge for you here is your first limerick paddle the spokane river by boat it circles riverfront park like a moat ride a gondola car see the falls from afar then grab a pint at the nearby iron goat boom. that is correct score boom boom in a city rich with landmarks like a giant wagon a couple of rocks that kind of look like dishes and a carousel, it was difficult for the brewery to decide on one to properly represent Spokane. In the end, it was decided to use the metal goat with a built-in trash vacuum as the mascot for the brewery. The Mountain Lakes uses a courthouse uh, in your label. Did you guys ever consider anything uh, like a landmark to be your brewery name? I was picking the courthouse, but Tim wanted Bail Bonds Brewing. Oh, because of all the Bail Bonds. <laughs> <laughs> Bail Bonds Brewing. Yeah, yeah. That would be actually pretty good. Uh, okay, here is your second limerick. I love to drink beer when I'm able at a nice cozy bar or wood table. Magic lantern for a movie, then to keep things quite groovy, I'll take a right out the door for... Rhymes with able. Rhymes with able and table. And table, and it's by the Magic Lantern on Main Black Street. Black Label. Black yes. Label. <laughs> From the heart of Spokane, Black Label Brewing Company strives to provide a solid beer by using as many organic and locally sourced ingredients as possible. They believe that knowing what goes into each pint of beer, and more importantly, what doesn't, is of the utmost importance. Woo! Let's hear it for Black Label. Here is your third limerick. Some people make big beer mistakes. Drinking non-local ale. Goodness sakes. Just wander downtown on Riverside and Brown. Throw darts with a pint at... Mountain Lakes. Mass! There we go! <laughs> Mountain Lakes! For the record... Audience member, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> he got it. He got they it. only have ski ball there. That's right. <laughs> they used to have ring toss, but it was too almost, loud for the neighbor. Almost <laughs> Bill. 
Almost Bail Bond Brewing. Tim and Dave are your beer hosts tonight. And also, both really awesome guys. They, made, they wrote this part. I just like reading it. <laughs> they love adventure, the outdoors, darts, families, dogs, and brewing a stellar pint of local ale. Thanks to Tim and Dave for bringing Mountain Lakes to Spokane. <laughs> Dave, how did James do on our quiz? He got three out of three. Free beer and three a pint of three. Class. Thank you, James, for playing tonight. A badass job, James. Yes, a badass very badass. Job. Well represented from badass. I yes. 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 It was good to have a fourth brewing company represented up here. That's right. <laughs> now on to our next game called Beer Slanging. Beer jargon amongst beer geeks can become as oddly shaped as a nonic pint glass. Luckily, we have a panel of brewers to help us sort this sudsy slang out. Here's how we play the game. Our panel will be given six beer terms to define. The panelist who answers most correct or best, as determined by our audience, wins. Panel, are you ready? I believe so. Let's do it. All right. Ready. Your first beer slang term is beer mail. What is beer mail? I thought all beer was mail. Oh, but I learned tonight. Really? In a women in I learned shop. tonight that it didn't hey, start there. You're going to learn tonight. That's right. <laughs> I think I know what it is, Chris. Yeah, you do? Tim? Yeah. Uh, so in college, uh, my roommate really thought it would be fun to stand and grab a can of beer and throw it okay. to me and ask if I would catch it. Right. And he would say, bear me out. And it would... Come to me, and I would try to catch it before oh, it it's, exploded. It's like air mail, but beer. Yeah, air, beer mail. Okay. Yeah. So when you throw a beer to another person... Right, and they're either going to catch beer... it and drink it, or it's going to explode and make a mess. Okay. All right, okay. Any other thoughts from All right, so my beer mail is fill up a crowler and then send it to Mountain Lakes. Beer mail. There you go. Oh, he actually okay. does this. He does this, though. On nights oh. when I'm working, a customer will randomly walk through the door... With a crawler from Black Label, and I'm like, Prince sent you, huh? Prince and sent what do you. they say? And it is. Oh, yeah. What oh, do yeah. they always say, though? Oh, I can't remember. Prince they... says your beer sucks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Prince says your beer sucks. No. <laughs> the customer says, finally, some good beer in this establishment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's beer mail. Okay. A crawler uh, a crawler and an insult. Uh, you That's know what? I'm going to give the yeah. point to Prince because yes. it's pretty, pretty good. Although it is mostly illegal to ship alcohol through our postal system, beer lovers still find ways to deliver a fellow beloved that quaffable bomber of Imperial IPA. As in, Amanda came back from Vermont on Tuesday, and I found some most excellent Hill Farmstead Brewery beer mill under my office desk. Ah. Oh. It was nice. It was nice when Amanda does that. Yeah. Thanks, Amanda. That's right. Your second beer slang term is collab. What is a collab? We have a lab where the beer is tested. Okay. And you can't afford your own lab, so you have to share that lab okay. with another okay. brewery. All right. Like Black Label. Okay. And you know, you both brew crappy beer, and you want to find out what's wrong with it. Okay. <laughs> you need a laboratory to dissect what's wrong okay. with it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you realize it probably had something to do with being the, the bad bunghole. It's just, a, it's always the bad bunghole. So. For us, co- collab is, we want to make a beer, but we're too lazy to do it at our brewery, so we're going to get another brewery to brew it for us. Oh. <laughs> you know, a yeah. collab. It goes that way. It okay, goes that's, that way. that's two points for Prince. Yeah. I'm sorry. A collab is just an abbreviation for collaboration to make it sound significant. <laughs> Bring a couple or more breweries together to brew a single beer, and you've got too many brewers around a brew kettle. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Basically. You go to a collab and everyone's looking around like, yeah. uh, what am I hey, here for? Hey, how can we brew a beer and charge a lot more money for it? <laughs> oh, it's a collab. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Your third beer slang term is cool ship. What is a cool ship? <laughs> Hope my pee came through that time. Good, because I thought it was bunghole related again. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> oh, man, I don't... Cool ship? A cool ship. Where do you find these? Uh, um, I yeah. think a cool ship is an incredible beer that comes to you on a ship. Oh. So foreign. Foreign. It's like a foreign from, beer. From like 
you know, like Coeur d'Alene or something. No. Right. No. Cross the <laughs> Cross the, down the cool river. Cool ship. Cool ship. It's like beer mail, but you sent it in an insulated package. Oh. So, okay. So, no. Okay. We're Prince. a family-friendly brewery, so when we talk about our beer, instead of saying it's cool shit, we just say, hey, that beer is cool ship. Cool ship. Okay. And for those editing, right. that was the same word twice. <laughs> That's right. You, you can also say cool crap, though. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, hey, audience, who, who are we giving the point to here? It's kind of, no one's got insulation. It right. no, insulation. It's not right. right. Dave, Dave with right. the point. I got a Dave point. with the All point. Right. I'll looks, take it. Looks like the cool ship is coming back to port. Those popular farmhouse ales are bringing back these shallow cooling pans that allow fresh hot wort uh, to cool nice and slow while exposing the wort to those naturally occurring airborne yeasts. Uh. As in, saw that for the love of God brewing. Installed a cool ship on their roof. Can't wait to taste those Spokane rooftop sponts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your fourth beer slang term is octanes. What are the octanes? Well, I, I don't know if I'm using this right, but octane always meant to me it was like the detergent in gasoline, right? Yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's you talk about is that, octane. right? It's, only, it's how we get tits. That's how you get... It's, you get tits drunk. It's a high octane. A high octane. Oh, high a high octane, octane, octane oh. alcohol. Oh. oh, there you go. <laughs> Tim, anything? Because... Octane. Octane. I think it's like... It's, uh, it's like octave, so it's eight. It's when you drink eight beers... Okay. At eight percent. At eight percent alcohol. All right. Which well, times together is 64. Right. right. 64. And... <laughs> and an untap gives you a badge. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when you're 64 and you can't make it home? Right. Okay. <laughs> yep. Right. And you end up in jail and you need a bail bondsman. Oh, my. <laughs> exactly. Thanks for coming right? to Bail Bonds Brewing. And you try to protect the bunghole. Right. And that's it. <laughs> this sounds a lot like our mediation counseling that we've been going through. Yeah, right? yeah. These are the, this is what we got to sit with Tim with, you know? Hi, I'm over Tim, and, and I'm addicted to octanes. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And I need some TP under my bunghole. <laughs> yeah. That's so, right. uh, Prince, right. you're, getting the, you're getting the point. I'm going with Prince. Just because he was right? <laughs> he, yeah, exactly. Octanes are simply beers with high ABV, mostly above 10%, as in... Tim finally came to terms with the fact that Tom Brady is a cheater, so, he, so he's been hitting the octanes all night to help him cope. <laughs> Your fifth, fifth beer slang term is waffles. What are waffles? Waffles. Those are people who come in and want to taste an ounce of every tap handle as they waffle through what they like. Okay. Yes. That's... <laughs> Point to Dave. Really Point to Dave. poignant. I'm really into IPAs. Can I try that, Dunkel Weissing? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, I'm a beer snob. <laughs> right. Is that anyone going to battle that? Or? I think uh, waffles are Belgians oh. who come to uh, the United States looking for beer, and everyone says to them, Oh, are you German? And they get pissed off, and they say, "No, we're Belgian. We're Belgian." And then they're like, and they're like, "Oh, do you have beer there? Do you?" Are you guys like, I love your waffles, All right? <laughs> and that's it. So <laughs> waffles. What I need the morning after I go to all the breweries in downtown Spokane. Okay, <laughs> at the IHOP, pilot yes. high and deep. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I don't know who who are we going for. What are we, Dave, 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 Dave. Dave's going to get it. However, Belgian beers that are made subpar are known as waffles. Oh. Oh, no. As in, I, I saw that Bender slammed the untap rating of that Belgian triple. Could have been a Monk Brewery. Sounds like it was a Belgian waffle. Ooh. Your final beer slang term is UBI. Got it. You better imbibe. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You better imbibe. This brewery, as in, this brewery is so hot, you better imbibe. You better imbibe. Damn okay. right. Tim, you got anything? The dude Dave's abides. Dave's kind of jumping on the Prince train. <laughs> I think it's, uh, I think it's a, like a, a really shitty IPA, so I think it's a ultra bogus oh. IPA. Oh, so it's kind of like a reverse of an IBU. It's a UBI. Oh, I like it. It's, it's a, like a super malty. Yeah. Or it Ooh. could be ultra bogus IPA. They're lying about oh. their IBUs. You, oh. Yeah, okay. like, you know, we do all the time. Okay. No, I mean, by, no. by we, I mean black label. How many IBUs are there? <laughs> all right, uh, I'm leaving it up to the crowd. We have Dave and Prince who could split a vote, or we've got Tim who could grab one. What, do you, what are we thinking? 
I have zero, Tim? folks. Okay, Tim. Yeah. If you just